Just to do a uh, intro to the first podcast, uh, a while back at work, at my work, um, I'd be telling stories about uh, shit that, that that's happened in my in my past. A uh, coworker suggested, with all the crazy shit that's uh, happened in my life, he says like, your you know your life could be like a fucking miniseries. After after a while. Um, I thought about it. I was like, well, you know, instead of a mini series, uh, in terms of uh, uh, short videos, um, I thought, well, why don't we? Why don't I do a, a podcast? Right? Uh, the budget is a lot smaller, and you know, I can do this, you know, on a regular basis. Every now and again, I'll have a, um, you know, a special guest on. Uh, talking about the crazy shit that happened to them in their, you know, childhood or whatever time in their life, uh, uh, hap- uh, crazy shit happened to them. The first podcast, I have a, g- a good friend with me, so here it is, the first podcast. So the story again that I'll start off with is I remember when I was 15, 16 years old. I had this buddy, uh, the person that we both know from my childhood, dated him. His dad was dropping us off on the on the street in Rosedale. This is back when I lived in Rosedale, and he, um, uh, this person that he was dating, my buddy dating, I was babysitting up the road, right in this like farm area, and uh, so we suggested to uh, my buddy's dad that can you just drop us off here, whatever we're gonna go and visit her. So. He dropped us off. He gave us like some sort of uh, curfew. We never, you know, mm. followed the curfew. Um, so we go walk up to this, go up to this house where his girlfriend is babysitting. Right. We're trying to like we're walking around the house looking through windows, the living room window, the kitchen, and then the kids' bedrooms and shit like that. Right. And we're kind of looking. We're looking like creeps. And uh, so we're trying to get this person's attention. Time she looks up we have to duck down because there's kids in the room we're not supposed to uh, give them any or we're not supposed to give them any attention right so we we are trying to get our attention for about 10 15 minutes and we're like fuck it you know let's just go back home so we're walking down the road um, and we see this this car parked on the uh, driving and then parked on the top of the hill while we're where we're walking down it and this guy uh walks out of the car and he's got a cowboy hat on he's got what looks like a vest and like cowboy boots and shit like that right and he's walking down the fucking hill right and he's getting and we're looking back and he's getting faster and faster and faster right did i tell you this story before no not at no. all get chased down by a cowboy <laughs> <laughs> and uh so we're kind of like we're looking back this guy's just like like do we know this guy like what's what's going on and so uh, we stop. I remember we, we, like, we stop and immediately, this guy's like 10 feet away and he goes and runs after my buddy. And then he's got a, he's got a bat in his hand that I guess we didn't see, right? So he's running after him and he's hitting him in the stomach with a bat, right? Mm-hmm. And earlier, uh, I, I think it was like in, in the fall or it was a cold day so i asked my buddy for his sweater he had a black sweater it was like a nike sweater right so was, so we were near a ditch and there was a ditch and then a whole like field that was i guess used to be like like corn or something mm-hmm. like that right so i i dropped into the ditch laid my body up against the the grass or whatever hoping that this guy wouldn't see me because i think i was wearing black pants i remember mm-hmm. if i remember so i was lying there and uh, I see, like, the, the scuffling going on and shit like that, right? And then my buddy jumps across into the... No, I don't think he jumped across. But I know the cowboy jumped across, yeah. right, to look for me, right? And my head was kind of, like, looking up, right? And I could s- kind of see a shadow moving. Why is the cowboy looking for you? Why? Yeah, what'd you do? Well, I'll get to that. Okay. Um, so he's he's... I can kind of sense that he's looking around in the field right i'm trying not to move and there is no like nothing was happening for like 10 15 minutes right i guess my my buddy went running back towards his house um uh he managed to escape so there's nothing going on 
for a while. So I'd get up and look around or whatever. There's no, the, the car's gone up the hill. The cowboy's gone, right? So I'm like w just walking along the road. And um, I see, like, I go to the next house, right? And it was, this was probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. I go to the next house, right? It's a farmhouse that's kind of gated, but the gate was open. So I go into their property. I'm banging on the door and no one's coming out, right? And I don't see anybody for the first little while, right? But then I see what looked like it might have been that same car driving down the road. And um, they slow, it seemed like they slowed down a bit, if I remember correctly. They slowed down to, towards the house that I was in or on the property of, right? And then they kept going. And then uh, about, um, about 10, 15 minutes later, um, I was like creeping out out of the property or whatever um and then yeah a couple minutes later my buddy's dad drives down with his truck or whatever sees me uh and then i get in the truck and we go back right and then um he's i'm telling him what happened or whatever and he's like you guys are fucking idiots or whatever <laughs> <laughs> and then um so i go back to his house or whatever and his dad's like you guys almost died yeah. you guys get you give each other a hug and kiss <laughs> wow <laughs> right? and uh so we did like uh, i i hugged him and then i he pecked me on the cheek and i think i pecked him on the forehead or whatever right yeah and then we just went about our evening or whatever talked about what happened and listened to music and uh, yeah anyways uh so money comes around and we find out that it was his girlfriend's stepdad that was chasing us down because i guess she didn't see us so she called her stepdad and I guess some of his friends because uh, she thought, oh, my God, like so somebody's trying to break in the house. So, yeah, it was, ended up being her uh, her stepdad. So, that, I don't know, that was a pretty interesting story, I think. Right? It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. <laughs> you get chased by a cowboy. Yeah. Man. It was like you couldn't even see who it was. It was like a, right? Just a shadow yeah. of a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. And this guy, uh, is, uh, the stepdad. He was kind of like, he was a tall, lanky guy. He was like, I think he was in his 50s at the time, right? Mm -hmm. Big red beard, right? Yeah. Kind of like shaded in with gray. And, and I've met the guy a few times. He's kind of like a really stern, quiet, but he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. But yeah, so I remember we ended up talking to her about it, being like, that was us, that was us, and your fucking dad fucking did this or whatever, right? And she's like, shut up. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> She's like, and we're and we're we're so we're like, yeah, we're gonna fucking charge him for fucking beating Buddy or whatever. Like our friend or whatever is like, please don't. I don't want any more drama. <laughs> yeah, she probably would have got beat. Yeah. Yeah, I stabbed the motherfucker once when I was twelve. There you go. No, Tell I that story. Though. I didn't though. I okay. didn't stab the motherfucker once when I was twelve. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when I was like six or seven, mm -hmm. or seven and a half or five and a half. We lived on a military base. The old man was in the military. Yeah. So we used to live on this military base. And I'm walking down the street one day, and I'm with a friend of mine. And we run into this little girl. She's the same age as us. Not a little girl. Yeah. We're all little. So fucking, she's sitting there on the side of the road. And she's fucking, she's hanging out. She's got her new bike. And she's got this brand new fucking shiny helmet on. Fucking spanking shiny new. <laughs> so I got a pipe in my hand. So me and my buddy been out, you know, hitting things with the mm -hmm. pipe and all this. So I come walking over. And we're talking to her and shit, and she's like, fucking, do you like this new helmet I got? I'm like, yeah, the fucking helmet looks great. I'm like, can I try it out? I'm like, yeah. can I test it to see how strong it is? And I got this pipe in my hand. She's like, yeah, go ahead. You know what? I got no problem with it. Fucking, she's just like six, <laughs> I'm six. So I haul off, and I smack her right in the fucking head with this fucking pipe on top of her helmet. Doesn't even phase her. She's got this helmet on. I'm just yeah. a weak-ass little six-year-old. She's like, fuck, do it again. So I haul off, and I crack <laughs> her in the head again with this fucking pipe. Still doesn't phase her, nothing. But it puts a nice little fucking crack going through her mm -hmm. brand new helmet. So we're out and we're playing all day. You know, the sun's getting down. It's time to go home. So she goes home. <laughs> I guess her parents were fucking livid. So we're on a military base. And everybody yeah. kind of knows each other. My right. dad's in the military. Her dad's in the military. They know exactly who I am. Dad knows exactly who she is. Mm -hmm. So her father calls out my father. And he is fucking pissed. And he's losing it. And he tells her, my dad, that I ran up and I smacked his daughter in the head with a steel pipe. 
So I get home. I come home. It's fucking like 7.30 at night or whatever. Sun's starting to go down. I'm only like six. I come walking in the door. Dad grabs me, picks me up by the throat, slams me into the wall, and loses his fucking shit on me. About to tear my little fucking head off. (laughs) So finally, mom comes in and calms them down, and fuck, they asked me what happened, and I told them what happened. I told them exactly what happened. Right. You know, we were out playing. We knew each other. She had this brand new helmet on. I had this steel pipe. She asked me <laughs> to hit her in the head with it to try out this helmet, right. but her father never told him that. Mm-hmm. He also never told him that she was wearing a helmet, yeah. so dad thought I'd just come running up on this little girl on her bike, <laughs> smacked her in the head with a fucking steel pipe, and then fucking <laughs> took off and went home. <laughs> Holy fuck. I almost got the shit kicked out of me at six because of that. Jesus. Yeah. That's fucking funny. And stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the stupid shit kids do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I can't remember her name at all. I have no clue. But it was in Greenwood. <clears throat> I shouldn't have said that, but it was. Greenwood. That was the military base we were at. Whatever. That's not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Well-